What is up, my electrician? So today is a great day. I got an advanced copy of the uh, Electric 3.0 XP or XP 3.0 that they sent me for review and testing. And a uh, pretty exciting day uh, here in Connecticut where I am. And when I was out at Media Day in their Phoenix headquarters uh, a few weeks ago. So um, they uh, did a really nice job with the new bike. I was kind of surprised they were announcing it this early being that they came up with a 2.0 just back in April. Uh, but uh, that goes to show that they really care about their customers and they, you know, they're anxious to get better improved bikes out there as soon as possible for you guys. So I really applaud Electric for doing that. And, uh, and when you hear the price on this, which is the exact same price as the 2.0, $9.99 for the 10.4 amp hour, um, you're going to love what you get in that uh, new uh, package. So it's in before the 2.0 was my best value e-bike and the 3.0 is even better so uh, just think about that for a second there. 9.99 and a whole host of new features we're going to go over today in this video because there's a lot to cover uh, with the new bike at first glance it looks kind of the same but there are a lot of so small changes and some, some big changes too which i think you're going to like overall so stay tuned so i think if you looked at my um uh, video on uh, November 1st where Electric CEO Levi Conlow talked about the uh, bikes and he brought them out. Uh, you saw that I think they were focusing a lot on utility. So they have a ton of accessories they're coming out with for pizza delivery guys and for kid carriers in the back there for carrying another person on the back as well. Uh, that was a big part of what they showed us and they emphasized that media day. And so uh, they're really focusing on utility with this bike, and I'm going to actually do something similar with my accessories once I do uh, accessorize this. That'll be in a future video, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to focus on utility and make it my grocery getter. Um, so that means a new basket on the back and a bunch of other stuff. But I'm going to keep it fairly stock in terms of the handlebar setup, uh, which is kind of new as well um, going forward. So with that, let's get into what's the difference here with a 2.0 versus the new 3.0 so starting out with the motor uh, more powerful motor it's not a 750 but it is an upgraded 500 watt motor back here in the rear hub with better torque so the 2.0's torque was 35 newton meters of torque and the 3.0 has 50 newton meters of torque so a noticeable increase in power off the line with throttle and you're going to notice that right away it's first one of the first things i noticed when i got it on the uh, 3.0's out in phoenix there um, so that's a really good uh, uh, addition to the motor. Uh, I think it also, it might, it might peak higher too. I, I, I forget uh, if I'm mistaken or not, but um, I forget what the original one peaks to, maybe 800 or 900. I think this might peak higher, but I'll have to double check that for you uh, with electric. Moving on to something that uh, has been a complaint of the 1.0 and the 2.0, which is ghost pedaling. Okay, and uh, the original ones, the 1.0 and the 2.0 came with a uh, 14 to 28 tooth freewheel. Well, Electric fixed that. They have an 11 to 28 tooth freewheel back here uh, on the e-bike. So no more ghost pedaling. They fixed that problem. I think that was a, a home run there in terms of just a, no, a no-brainer fixing that. I mean, I'm sure 11, the cost of an 11 28 is not much different than the 14 to 28, to be honest with you. Um, so that's, that's awesome there with the, uh, the rear hub motor back there. Uh, the saddle. So we have a brand new seat from Electric, and I'll get you some close-up later after this, after we uh, run through the uh, differences. But a new seat now, kind of slim line, or it looks slimmer uh, from a height standpoint. Um, it's got a kind of a, just a cup here, kind of concave shape to kind of fit your butt. Um, it's got a nice glossy outline on the end. It's a much better looking seat. Um, I haven't spent too much time on it yet, so I'll reserve judgment in terms of how uh, comfortable it is. But it's pretty, it's, you know, it's kind of flat. Um, it's squishy enough, so it should do the difference. I'm going to put a suspension seat post on my on this bike. Uh, I think that in combination with this seat should work out just fine. So we shall see. 
the grips. We have new ergonomic rubber grips that are different than the original ones. These are one. These are definitely a lot softer than those original uh, hard, harder, harder rubber ones. Uh, I'll get you close up to these as well. Um, even the little end caps here have the electric logo on there, which is a nice touch. And moving on to suspension. So this suspension fork here um, is a uh, oil-based uh, uh, shock, and they increase the travel on that to 50 uh, newton meters of travel. Uh, or millimeters of travel. Um, the original one had uh, 40 millimeters of travel, so you're getting 10 more millimeters um, on the front shock there. Again, any, any increase there is, uh, is an improvement, and uh, that's awesome to see from, uh, from the folks at Electric. All right, moving on. Um, passenger compatibility. So they added that new uh, seat in the back here with foot pegs and also a little handlebar that comes out that clicks onto the stem. And so you're gonna passengers are gonna sit like this on that new uh, comfort package back there. So they really focused on that. Uh, in fact, Levi and Robbie, the co-founders, when we did our group ride, uh, Levi was carrying Robbie around and vice versa on that on those uh, trips. So they really wanted to focus on that and show that you can't put a passenger on the back end now. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't have anybody to ride with, but um, that's something you can do. I think a lot of uh, younger folks will like that, uh, or maybe grandparents who want to bring their uh, grandkid around, things like that. So check that out on their site. It's good for up to uh, 75 pounds for a passenger. So basically for kids uh, when, you're, when you're looking at that. Uh, going back to the motor, the motor has a new controller. So the original one was one uh, was 18 amps, and on the 3.0 we have a 20 amp controller, so more power there, better torque, and I think uh, more peak wattage as well. The brakes are also upgraded. So we had 160 millimeter rotors on the 2.0s, and these have 180 millimeter rotors, so better stopping power. I'm not getting any squeaks out of the box with this e-bike. Uh, it stops great. Um, the only issue is some rubbing on the front one, so I think I have to adjust the caliper a bit. That's the only problem out of the box with the, uh, the 3.0. There's also slime in the tires, so every new e-bike from electric is coming with slime. You don't have to order it, it just comes automatically. And that's just to help you, uh, you know, uh, not worry about flats when you go out there. And that's a great thing that electric did, just adding that value into the, uh, the e-bike itself. But you also notice that the uh, handle for the folding part is actual black now. Um, and so it's used to be silver on the previous model, so it blends in more with the design. Uh, speaking of design, we have a new uh, uh, graphics package up top here. A um, little bit subtle differences. We get the electric logo down there. We have electric branded tires as well, if you notice that. Lots of new uh, stuff here to go over, so let's get some close-ups, and uh, we'll take it out for a performance test and uh, check it out on the ride. All right, here's a walk around of the e-bike. Definitely, uh, it looks more sophisticated now uh, with that seat. Um, also, I forgot to mention the uh, the handlebar setup here. We have longer handlebars. These are about two inches longer than the original ones. And it's one of the first thing I noticed when I saw the bike in Phoenix. Uh, it just looks a little bit better, especially with those new grips, which are like that. So that's the difference there. Here's the logo on the, uh, the end point there. Here's a look at the new graphics package up front on top of the bike. Just fly over here. Got the uh, XP 3.0 on the back of the rack on both sides. Electric branded tires there. Uh, you can see the uh, larger brake rotor on the front and back. Electric logo on the forks. And just a really nice uh, looking package as well. One other thing you'll notice is that this bike is gloss black in terms of the paint. That's right, no more midnight blue. It's a pure black now, so uh, which is great because I have some black vinyl wrap I'm going to use to cover up those top uh, paintings here. I just to minimize the colors on the bike. I'd rather have that just all black for a cleaner look. So uh, it's an all black, gloss black uh, paint job now on these uh, step through step uh, step overs the step throughs still come in white of course um, I did ask electric if they're going to offer 
Uh, the 3.0 is in the same colors as the lights and they're not at this point. Uh, it's just too many skews for them to handle from a just a logistic standpoint. So uh, you're only going to get black or white uh, on the new uh, 3.0s uh, going forward at least. One other note, the pedals are new. They're a different shape now if you look at these compared to the old ones. And uh, they do fold a little bit better. It's hard to do with one hand here. But there we go. Pretty easy. It's one of my bigger complaints with those original pedals. That they're hard to... Uh, to uh, fold up, but we'll see how these last over time. And um, but first glance, it looks pretty good overall. So the bike just feels more comfortable all the way around. Love new touch points, uh, longer uh, handlebars, about two inches wider. So you got more room on your uh, handlebars now for accessories. Doing 26, I got plenty of resistance on the pedals. I'm in seventh gear. I can feel that resistance. I'm only in PS4 right now. This bike feels much more like a 750 watt than it does a 500 watt at this point now. So I just, you can just feel that acceleration as soon as you get on the bike. Alright, PS1. Probably the same as the 2.0, but let's see here. I'm doing uh, 7.5 miles an hour. PS2 bumping up to 12 12.4 PS3 we're at 16 17 miles an hour 18 miles an hour it's like the decline here so PS4 we're at 22 PS4 23 wow PS5 I'm gonna blow the stop sign guys no one's coming to 25 26 with uh wasn't too hard to get there 26.2 so what do you think 3.0 just an all-around better bike I'd say from an improvement standpoint I'd say it's a 30% improvement over the 2.0 something like that maybe 30 40 percent but I'm curious what the other youtubers uh, think as well we'll see their, their reviews as well so I know, I know a number of other youtubers uh, have this uh, e-bike as well David brand new uh, Jimmy Chang e-bike products etc uh, so uh, check out what they have to say as well but um, I'm impressed. I, this is, I'm selling my 2.0, keeping this. Obviously it's a better bike, even though I'm losing my uh, brake calipers and my and a few other things. Um, that other stem, of course, the uh, turtle neck stem. But uh, this is going to be my new grocery getter. And I got a nice cool rack coming for the back there. So I'll do a whole uh, accessories video after this. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ride. and. Uh, if you're looking to buy electric you know use my link in the description there help support the channel and make a small commission 
on any bike I sell for electric. So, uh, so I appreciate the support out there. You know, I don't, I'm not an affiliate of every e-bike company, only ones I trust really. And I definitely trust electric um, as far as that goes. So and you can't go wrong for $9.99 at the base price point for this bike. Uh, it's just an all around great value and still the best value e-bike in the industry. So appreciate you watching. Check out the other videos I have on electric e-bikes, and uh, thanks for watching. Let's take a walk to the lake.